Sorry, baby. It's all over. You had your chance, and you blew it. Adios, baby. Let's just take Blondie out of the frame. Out with the old, and in with the new. <laughs> Let's get the new picture in here. Oh, there we go. Just fix it a little bit here. Now we'll look at it. Wow! <laughs> That's one foxy babe. <laughs> I better go over the letter. Make sure there's no mistakes in it. I put pencil in hand to write this letter to you. I have worshipped you from afar. I am a lonely man of 80 years looking for a wife. How about it, Betty? Will you marry me? That sounds pretty good. Do you like younger men? I love older women. Do I have a chance with you? You can call me Colette on my butler's telephone, as my telephone is busted. His name is Buzz 1151. The number is 503 222 I will await your call, my Betty. Enclosed is a photograph of me, your secret admirer, Mr. F. Lockett. I guess I'll send this picture of me, although the last time I sent a picture, a girl laughed at me and called me a gnome. Hmm, what should I do? On second thought, I'm not gonna send that one. I'm gonna send this picture of Hackbar. Better safe than sorry. I'll just put it in the envelope here. There we go. It's going to Betty White, Hollywood, California, or Los Angeles Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, my Betty. There is the eye tube socket, okay? Now, there is a, uh, a 1 meg resistor in here, and I'm going to test it. It's supposed to be between pins two and four. So this is pin one, this is pin two. No, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Three and four. Who's the dummy? Me or you? <laughs> That's measuring 2.5 meg. Now, I don't know. Is that's a true reading, or is it picking up some garbage from somewhere else? Garbage? I looked up on the internet how to uh, take this metal. See, this is plastic on the socket, but this metal is, is surrounding it. And they said to stick a screwdriver in there. And actually right here, but I was looking at it. This actually is cracked right here. I think somebody what? tried to take that off before. There's a crack here and a crack here. So now they said to uh, spray WD-40 in here, and I've sprayed it in all these nooks and crannies here. Did you really call them cooks and nannies? I don't know. Nooks and crannies. Maybe I need something like a knife. Be careful. Doesn't look promising. Think positive, Frank. 
it's leaking out. Ew. The WD-40 I put in there. Guys, please don't screw this thing up. Now it looks like it would pry it loose, but uh, it's gonna crack that. Don't give up. I'll uh, just pry loose the edge here. Faith is believing in things when common sense tells you not to. Oh, there it goes. You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Let's take the cover off that cap. It's just in the way. Okay, we got a... What are you going to do next? Is that brown, black, and green? My friends call me Meg. Let's just take it directly from here. What are you doing? Picketing? No, oh, I'm measuring 1.6. That's pin one. Two, three. I guess I must have got my pins wrong here. It's connected here. Maybe that's one, two. Maybe this is one, two, three, four. George, he's got it! I'm used to the number system when these things are upside down. Let's clip that. One of the leads of that. Well, clip me off a piece of that. Okay, I'm gonna take a alligator clip. Alligator's in the source. Stick it here. What's he doing? What the hell is the other side of it? What's he doing? Okay, this high is 1.6, so that was the correct reading. Yes, that's correct, Mr. Mortimer. So we're going to put another one in. Alright. I've got uh, one here, brown, black, green. Black, white, green, red. Can I take my friend to bed? Bingo, one meg. We'll put that guy in there. And now you know how to use a soldering gun. When did you become an expert in thermonuclear astrophysics? Well, this is getting exciting. There's no coil method here. This is too short. Come on! Concentrate! Here we go! Concentrate! Now, yeah, let's just <laughs> make sure just by doing the pins here. One, two. One, two, buckle my shoe. And four. Nope, wrong again. Oh, wait. One, two, three, and four. You done good, Hasselhoff. Point nine meg. I went down a little bit. <laughs> Maybe because it got hot. Let's cool it down there. All right. You see it uh, when it warms up. The, uh, the resistance goes down. <gasps> That's amazing. So we're okay there. We just gotta. Clean it off. It's got it's still got a bunch of a WD forty on it. Oh, this uh, this 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 flat one here was over the crack. What's that crack supposed to mean? There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> You learned with me. 
Okay, we're going to test that iTube with the one meg installed in there. Let's turn this on. I turn it on, and I leave it on. Here it comes! Westchester County, New York, and Kaya, how old are you? I'm 10 years old. Oh, and are you a listener to my show, or you were told to call me? No, I'm, my dad listens to me, and I'm homeschooled, so I... Looks pretty good. The eye works pretty good. Well, the time has finally come. What is it? We're going to do an alignment. And to do this alignment on this radium, we use the drive chord drum, which is this. And this has got a scale and is set in degrees. Now stop that nonsense. And for the first step, it says to take a, uh, a wire. A what? You just make a wire, and it's got a point to 200 and 40 degrees so that's 230 235 240 and that's with the uh, when that's on 240 the uh, the tuning cap is fully meshed and so we got that set okay we're supposed to connect to uh, the grid of 6sk7 and you're looking at it right there nice so that's pin 4 we got uh, pin 1 2 3 Pin 4 is right here. Can I put a gator clip on that? And from there, it says to connect the 0.01 microfarad cap in series with it. Okay. So I'm going to hook this here. It also says to hook up uh, an output meter. Now I've got a vacuum tube voltmeter. What a piece of junk. And i got to hook it across the voice coil. So I'll hook up, uh... Anybody care what this guy thinks? One side here. Confidence is very sexy, don't you think? One side there. It then says, connect the high side of uh, your signal generator <laughs> to the point oh one cap. And you connect the low side which then means the ground to the chassis. Now, since I have a frequency counter, I'm going to connect that ground to the chassis. So I'm going to take the high side of the frequency counter and connect that up right where the uh, high side of the uh, signal generator is. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, we got to tune the, uh, the signal generator to 455 kilocycles. That would be about right here. I don't get it. Me neither. As you can see there, it's on 455. Yes. Now we have to adjust L11. Now L11 and L12 is the same can. L11 is on the bottom and L12 is on top, but what they want us to do the uh, the bottom first and this is the second IF. What you talking about? Now, I'm going to turn this and see if I notice any difference on the meter. Run out and find me a four-year-old child. I can't make a head or tail out of it. As you can see, it's going up. Well, look at that. Let's just turn it down a little bit. What's happening? Right about there. That's quite a big boost from it. Okay, now we're going to adjust L12, which is on top. Boy, you're going to be a real drag, you know that? It's going down. 
So you fiddle while Rome burns. Okay, now it's going up. Oh. Right about there. And now to adjust the uh, the second IF, you've got to hook up to the uh, to the grid of the six SA seven two pin eight pin eight. Right down here. So we got to turn L9, which is on the bottom, and it's this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. Hey, turn your butt off. Let's see if we can get a peek on it. This is risky business. Looks like that was pretty much. What? All right. Success, success. We've done it. Now I'm gonna turn the radio over and do the top. My turn. We'll keep an eye on. The meter. All I can see is asses. Looks like it wasn't off much, but it was off a little. I, I'm not done yet. Okay, next we're going to adjust the uh, 1500 kilocycles oscillator adjustment. Do you speak English? So we're supposed to put the uh, this on the A band. I think I already got it on there. Nope, it's not on there. Uh, we got to set it. For 41.75 degrees. Oh, really? It's a little chilly in here, isn't it? Are we done here? I don't know how you're going to get exactly, but uh, it's around there. That's close enough, Jim. Good work. Got to set the uh, signal generator to 1500. I put a, a 200 uh, picofarad capacitor. Watch your language! Hooked up to the signal generator going to the antenna terminal. You must relax! So we got it set to 1500. Let's turn it on. Okay. I have to adjust C10, which is the, the AM oscillator right there. It's a type of a weird thing. It's got got two holes. Are those bullet holes? So I'm going to use this thing to turn it. Now I'm supposed to set it on 41.75 which is which is what it's set for now and I don't get nothing but if I turn it down it's like it's a five degrees off so I got it set it on 42 41.75 and I've got to turn this until I hear the sound turn on the water faucet I don't know which way to go but just do it okay what I'm doing I'm turning it and then tuning the uh, the dial. I said now it's on 40, so keep going up like this. I think that's the way it works. All right, that's almost. So listen, I gotta go, right? Hey, taxi! About 42 right there. Excellent. That is one weird looking thing, I tell you. This bottom piece down here, it locks it. Can we go now? But that's about 42. Now you're supposed to just C3, which is the antenna. Looking on my meter, you can hear it's going up. Gotta go potty. Right about there. Went down. Up. Up. Right about there. Okay, for the final one. Yeehaw! Supposed to set it for 600 uh, kilocycles. 
we're going to move the drive cord drum to 200.25 degrees. Ow, oh, 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 ow, ooh, ow, ow, oh, 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 that's hot! And about 200 there. I'm going to set the uh, signal generator to 600 kilocycles. Uh, have a popsicle. Six hundred. Oops, let's get it to two. One more, baby. There you go. Yeah. Now I'm gonna turn on, turn it on, and it has something about an L7, and I don't see an L7 adjustment. And it says to rock this back and forth. Are you ready to rock? I don't think there's no adjustment on for this one. It's just supposed to be in the ballpark. As you can see, I'm rocking it. I'm shaking it, boss! And it, it looks good at about 200, which is what is supposed to be. You're damn right! Okay, that concludes the alignment. Yeah! I'm going to do the uh, short wave off camera. Yippee! And I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this ends part 10. And we shall see you in part 11. EO 11. EO 11. EO 11. Sing it, Sammy.